In this video, we will learn about how to create a sketch by using the various sketch entities. For that, let us create a document first. So click on create, select a new document. Since we are going to learn about the sketch entities, let me name the document as sketching. Click on create to create a new document. So let me select any one of the reference planes since the sketching can be done only on any one of the planes. So let us try to select one of the plane. So let me select the top plane here and click on sketch. To look perpendicular to the sketching plane, right click on your mouse and select the option view normal to sketch plane. So this is one of the way you can do it. Or you can press N on your keyboard to look perpendicular to the sketch plane. Okay. Now let us try to see about the different sketch entities over here. The first entity is a line. So nearby uh, the commands, you may have the drop down menus. For example, here in this one, in this drop down, you are having a line and midpoint. Depending upon the screen size, some of the icons may be visible, entities may be visible, some entities may not be visible to you. For example, here, let me zoom in. You can see many of the constrained entities or hide it. So if you click on the drop down menu, you can see the hide it entities. So you can see over here the different entities that you can able to see it over here like this. Okay. So you should make sure that uh, you can able to see all the sketching entities it will not go anywhere it it is hiding behind this uh, drop down so you have to check the drop down and you can see all the entities so first let us see about the line first select the line command so for selecting a particular sketch entity just click on the entity so in order to view uh, the what is the use of that particular entity? Just place your mouse cursor over the command. For example, here I'm placing my mouse over the line entity. So you can see the purpose of this is visible over here. The explanation about the command is uh, visible over there. A sketch, a line segment, or a series of line segments. Okay. So let me select that particular entity. Whenever you are again selecting it, it will deselect that. So make sure for example here, so the line is selected. If I click again, so it will deselect it. Okay. If you want to draw a series of lines, let me click for the first endpoint. And if you move your mouse, it will automatically show you the line. And you can see the difference in line. For example, if I place it on the horizontal one, you can see in the line, you, you can see some dashes. Okay, so the dashes will be there. The dashes will come only on horizontal and vertical. And nearby the mouse cursor, you can see a vertical line over here. Okay, that represents the auto constraint applied to that line. For example, you can see here there is a vertical line nearer to the line we are generating. Okay, so that represents that particular constraint will be applied to that line. So if I place my mouse over here, it will apply horizontal constraint. If I place my line over here, it will apply vertical constraint. Okay. 
So like this, you can click and generate the line you want. Okay. So whenever you are generated a particular line, it will show you a dimension nearer to it. You can see here 36.04. So if you want to change the dimension now itself, you can just type it and you can fix the dimension. But at any later stage, you can change it. It is better to draw a rough sketch first and then change the dimensions of all the sketch entities one by one later on. Okay, so if you have completed the sketch or the series of uh, lines you had completed, then to come out of the command, press escape button in your keyboard. Here the lines will generate you can see here whenever i click on the screen automatically it generates a series of line if you want to draw only one line then we just select the command click and hold your mouse button and drag your mouse Wherever you want to leave the second endpoint, you just leave your left mouse button there. So here you can see it is not generating the second line. Okay. So if you want to generate a series of lines, you just click. But if you want to generate only one line, just click and hold your mouse button, left mouse button, and then leave at a place where you want to generate the second endpoint of the line. Now let us try to see about the rectangle command. So before that, there is a midpoint line is there. Okay. Suppose I want to generate a line with along with a midpoint, for example, here. From this one, I want to generate a line. You can see here, the line is generating based on a midpoint. So at some situations, we may require like this. Okay. So if you want to draw a line based on this one, okay. For example, let me draw a circle here. So in this one, I want to draw a horizontal line based on the center. So on that case, you can select a midpoint from here. If you draw a line automatically, you can split the circle into two semicircles by using that line. Okay. So you can able to uh, use the midpoint line by this way. Now let's see about the rectangle. So there are three, three types of rectangles are there. So one is a corner rectangle. Let's see about the corner rectangle. So whenever you are selecting a corner rectangle, you can see that there are two points highlighted over here that represents the two opposite corners. So if you click and the next uh, click will decide the size of the rectangle. So that size is decided by the opposite corner. Okay, the click on the opposite corner. So whenever you click, Automatically, it will show you the dimensions. Okay. Before you come out of the command, it will show you the dimensions. So you can directly type the dimensions over there. It will be applicable. Before coming out of the command, you can implement the dimensions. Suppose if you press escape, it won't highlight the dimension. Let me show you again. So there is a rectangle. Here it is showing the dimensions as 74.02 and 29.71. Suppose if I type it now, still the command is active. You can see the command is active can be identified by using the mouse uh, type of uh, mouse cursor. So here the mouse cursor is like a cross wire. So the uh, command is still active. Okay. Suppose if I press escape, 
you can see the mouse cursor now becomes the arrow mark so it is only for selection purpose okay the cursor becomes the selection cursor so now you cannot change that the, the dimension will not be displayed over there okay so corner rectangle will create only the rectangles on horizontal and vertical based on horizontal and vertical lines you can see here so this line and this line are horizontal and vertical lines but in the second case center point rectangle this will also create the all the rectangles based on horizontal and vertical but here you can have a midpoint so suppose i want to draw a rectangle based on some position okay so for some end position for example here so based on this as a midpoint i want to draw a, a rectangle in that case so click over here and if you drag your mouse so you can see the rectangle is created based on this midpoint okay so at some cases this will be applicable for example let me draw a circle in that case let's draw a center point rectangle so this one let me select or click over there and the next point if i click here it will show you the entities that is the square or a rectangular entity within the circle so based on the dimensions it can be a rectangle or a circle okay so by this way we can able to generate a center point rectangle what is aligned rectangle is so in the other two cases always the rectangle is either horizontal or vertical but in the third case you can able to create a rectangle aligned with some line for example let me try to create a line here okay you can see this line so this line is an inclined line based on this as a reference i want to create a a rectangle so for in that case you select the aligned rectangle click on the first point you can see here it is asking about the three points so second point is for the alignment and the third point will create you the a rectangle that will provide you the breadth direction or a height direction okay so here you can able to align a rectangle with one of the sides or edges so for that purpose this will be really useful in the next video we will see about the sketch entities circle arc and polygon and the spline and other parts thanks for watching